Hi, today we are going to discuss the topic is abstract statement under DML operations. Let's see the brief quote from great personality before we are going to start the session. The mind has to be empty to see clearly. Let's see what we are going to discuss as part of this session. We are going to discuss about abstract statement under DML operations with two ways. One is upset and database method that is database dot upset. Let's see what we are going to discuss under upset. So here you can use either upset statement for doing upset operation or you can use database method that is database dot upset method for doing upset operation. Okay, so these points are applicable for both. Let's see what is the main purpose of upset. So using the upset operation, we can do either insert or update in exist, uh, an existing record in one call. What it means, with upset operation, you can do two operations in one call, either inserting the new record or updating an existing record in one call. So it helps to determine whether a record already exists, the upset statement or database method uses record IDs as key to match records or otherwise it uses custom external ID field to match as whether the record is existing record or not or it checks for standard field with the ID lookup attribute set to true. So what it means here, upset statement finds whether there is a existing record or not by using three kind of things. One is record ID. If there is a record ID in the list of records where you are performing the upset operation, then it recognizes it will update. If there is no record ID, it will insert remaining record. Other thing is it will search for custom external ID. If there is any custom external ID in upset statement, then it will update. Otherwise, it will insert. Same way, if there is any field with the ID lookup attribute set to true, then also it can find out whether there is a existing record or not with the help of ID lookup attribute. <clears throat> here, as I told you already here, if the key is not matched, then it will create a new record. If the key is matched one, then it automatically update the existing record. If the key is matched multiple times, then it will generate an error. So that means what we have to remember, upset operation helps to insert or update on existing record on the, creating the new record in one call. And it uses three kinds of keys to determine existing records. One is a record ID, another one is custom external ID, another one is ID lookup attribute which is set to true for any field. Okay, and while you are doing the custom external ID field, then you always need to make sure to check that or to make this case set insensitive. Otherwise, what is going to happen? If you have case sensitive, then if you have ABC in capital letter, ABC in small letter, if you have two records, then it will take two different records. Okay, if you have case insensitive, it considers as a ABC or ABC, both are duplicate records. Let's see. Let's have an example here. So let's start practically. Mm -hmm. So if you observe here, I am trying to select or I'm, I'm trying to retrieve the existing account record with the name Salesforce Techbook Limit 1. That means this query gives or returns the account record, existing record with Salesforce Techbook name. Once I get it, I am trying to update it to, I am trying to assign rating to heart. And I'm adding this account instance, account record instance to account list. After that, I'm preparing another account record with the name SF Techbook 
foundation and rating as warm and i'm adding this account record instance also to account list then i'm using the upset statement what it is going to do here this upset statement is going to perform upset operation on this act list once it is performing then it will search for if there is any record id or external id involved so in our case it is having the record id one record we are we are retrieving the existing record with the name sales post checkbook there we have the record id so it will update this record and it will insert this record because this record doesn't have any id field or external id field okay let's see so before that let's see what we have this is sales post textbook record and rating is hot already now i am going to update this to cool so here sales post textbook and changing it to hot so what it has to happen it is going to update salesforce textbook account rating to cool and it is going to create a record called sf textbook foundation in account with the help of upset statement here we are doing insert and update in single call with the help of upset statement let's see what is going to happen so first thing is let's reload this whether it is updating the rating as cool or not for self posted book yes it is cool here and now let's check for sf tech book foundation see here sf tech book foundation created see it is warm so that's what that's how we give the input here it should be warm so we successfully take upset statement or upset operation with the help of upset statement same way if you want to use the database method on the same okay how you can do this so simple way see database upset i'll show you the database dot upset comma false so what is database dot upset basically here database dot upset is a partial dml operation if there is any error while doing the upset operation in any of the record in the list it is going to ignore it is going to consider um, only the record which are not having the issues for doing the successful operation so now here i am using the database dot upset other than that there is no any difference between normal upset statement and dynamic uh, dynamic dml operation that is database dot upset so do hold the result okay after doing the database dot upset how you can hold the result how you can see whether it is successful or not okay for all records see here how you can do first thing is it returns the result in the form of list of database dot result okay database dot upset result so you can loop through this result to see whether it is success or not you can see for errors also so see here result dot is success result dot get id if it is success you can get the record id if it is error you don't get the record id and you can have a look into all other methods under database dot upset result now let's see i am changing it to warm here and sf1 textbook 1 otherwise sf textbook 1 foundation and rating as cool let's see what is going to happen here with database dot upset so no difference here what is this from the type system it's system dot debug 
not of it. See, let's. Now you can see those results if it is success. See, ID and true. True means it returns true when it is success. Is success. So let's see. So warm should be changed to something. So it is warm still. Let's see what was the. So still I gave warm only. Yeah, that's why it is having warm. So here it has to create SF textbook one foundation with cool writing, right? See here. As a textbook one foundation with cool rating. This is how you can work with data build that result. And if you want to uh, see the result and do the other operations, for example, if record is not successful, you want to do some other operation. If it is if it is success, you want to do another thing. Then you have to go through this data build that upset result when you are using the data build that upset method. Otherwise, when you are using the static DML operation or like uh, upset statement directly, then you can catch this uh, error through your try catch handling. Okay. Now, let's see how you can update the record with external ID field. So, in our case, I created a field called company ID in account object with external ID field. So, where you can see whether it is external ID or not. So let me go through the account object and I have created custom field here called company ID company ID. So you have to enable this checkboxes unique and external ID. Okay, this is so you always need to uh, do uh, do this do not allow duplicate values and select this case insensitive as i told you okay and when you check this checkbox external id and unique then this field acts as an external id and you can use this field for updating the existing record without using the record id with upset operation okay and here if you check this this is data type text you can make three types of fields as external ID fields in Salesforce. One is text field, another one is number field, another one is email field. Okay, based on your requirement, you can make one of the type, one of the uh, type of field can can be external ID field. Okay, let's see. Now it is external ID field. So let me open Salesforce textbook. And here I have company ID is 656678. Now I am going to change rating, okay, and account number also. Otherwise, I will change rating and phone number, okay. Let's see without using record ID. So now I am removing everything. So first thing is you have to assign you have to assign external ID field value. Okay, whatever the values you are updating, that's okay. You have to you can update anything, but other th other than that, you definitely need to assign the external ID field in your <coughs> record preparation before you are performing the upset statement, upset operation. Now I'm doing upset. ACT like for BJ. Then you have to specify like this account dot field dot. This is field token. You can you can say it is field token. Simply your external ID field. What is going to happen? This upset looks for this external ID. If there is external ID, then it automatically updates the that particular record which is having the external ID six five six seven eight to rating to heart and phone to this one. So I am taking this one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you observe here, 
वी हैव थ्री टू फोर थ्री एंड सिक्स फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट इज कंपनी आई डी दट इज एक्सल आई डी रेटिंग इज बॉम्ब नाउ हियर आई एम असाइनिंग और आई एम चेंजिंग इट टू हार्ट एंड आई एम चेंजिंग फोन टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इन कंपनी आई डी इज सिक्स फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वी हैव एक्जिस्टिंग रिकॉर्ड दट इज सेल्स फोर स्टेक बुक अकाउंट नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू अपडेट लेट्स इट हैज टू अपडेट It is updated. See, hard and one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when you want to do the same operation with database data upset, that is dynamic DML operation, you have to remember few things here. So, database dot upset, and then your record instance, whether it is a list or single record, and your field token. Here in our case, account dot field dot company ID and comma false. This is how you have to do or you have to use database dot upset operation with external ID. And now I am changing it to cool, and I am starting this like this. Let's see whether it is going to update or not. This is how you can. Update with database dot upset. Okay, so already phone is changed and rating is cool. Okay, and this is how you can work with upset statement. These are all the references I will give you under our YouTube uh, video description. Please subscribe to Salesforce Tech Book. All the best.